Hello, my name is Laura. I'm going to be demoing our SOS Unlimited product for you. We're going to be going over how to set up your unattended devices as well as have attended connections to either Macs, Windows PCs, as well as any mobile for Androids and to have viewing for uh, iOS mobile devices. Now, when doing getting all set up, we do have three major consoles we have right here. Our admin portal, which is at my.slashhop.com. We have our business app, which is this little guy right here. And then we also have our streamer. The first thing I'm going to go over is our admin portal. Um, this is where you will set up your unattended devices as well as invite everyone to your team. The first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is, is create a group. Uh, when creating the group, you can have users as well as computers assigned to it. Once the groups are all created, you can go ahead and deploy all your our streamers, which is what we refer to as a live agent, to be installed onto those devices. Um, so you can create the deployment package. Our streamer can be modified just a bit. Um, you can, you know, make sure you keep that auto launch streamer on to make sure connection can always happen. Idle session timeout can be adjusted. Hiding the streamer icon, um, direct connection. Uh, requiring Mac logins, as well as blank screen when in a session, locked when disconnect, lock keyboard and mouse, or lock streamer settings from flash top, unless you're an admin. So all of this can be um, set up and adjusted to fit into your environment. Once that is done, you can go ahead and, uh, whoops, you can go ahead, once that is done, you can go ahead and deploy. For the deployment, you can do a shareable link directly via email, <clears throat> and you can authenticate the device in that regards. You can also do a mass deployment with an executable in MSI or DMG, depending on uh, what type of devices you're remoting into. Once this is, this is done, you can go ahead and invite your users or fellow technicians uh, you can invite the user here, input their email, assign them to the group of computers you wish them to access. Um, you can make them an admin or a member, depending on your use case. This email will be sent out to them. You can add a little message down here. Um, it will prompt them to download the business app um, and create their own login. We do have single sign-on um, available, and that's uh, included with our enterprise, and you can reach out to our sales team for more information regarding that. Once that's done, now you have your users that have access to unattended devices. You also need to, for that ad hoc attended, you can go ahead and invite the technicians here. Um, this pretty much turns on the attended feature for them. Once that's all done, now we have your users that have access to unattended devices as well as attended. Your streamers are set up, everyone's grouped and assigned. Um, now you essentially can start accessing devices. Uh, we do also in the admin console keep logs of the devices or of the sessions, file sessions, file transfers, chat sessions, history, and antivirus. You can view this um, attended or unattended, export it as a C CSV, um, and we do keep it for up to a year. Here we also have our devices. This is what has the business app installed onto it. There is no limitation for how many devices have the business app on it, um, just essentially how many concurrent users is the limitation. Per license, we do allow up to 10 individual users to be invited, um, but just one concurrent session can happen at a time. Lastly, we do have also, oops, also um, our settings. We do have a couple of features that can be turned on and turned off. Two-step verification, um, you can have turned on. I mean, you can modify the features depending on attended or unattended sessions. 
Now you can see here, I already have my business app open. I'm already logged in. You can go ahead to start a session. Just double click on the device you wish to access. And then your session will begin. We do have a little pop-up for when a user is remoting into the device. Um, so you can see who's essentially accessing it. There are a couple of features here up for unattended sessions. Um, we do allow chat in a session. So you can reach out and talk with who's ever currently on that device if someone is. Um, you can also blink the screen, lock keyboard and mouse. You can do file transfer within a session. You can also record the session. This will save to your local device. You can also lock, switch users, sign out, change password, and task manager. These four are for viewing purposes. Um, we do allow per user to have 10 individual connect connections going on at a time. You can you know, expand it to where that's the only device you're currently on. Uh, you can switch it to original scale. You can switch it to high frame rate, medium frame rate, low frame rate, and also have the actual cursor. We do support true multi-window for monitors. Um, we recommend bringing up the two. You can take that second monitor and drag it to your second screen. If you wish to just jump from window to window, you can click here and it'll go to your second monitor as well as back. These are the, uh, the features for our unattended access. There are a couple of features here in the business app as well, um, such as the file transfer is available outside of a ses session. You can do chat outside of a session. Um, we do allow the remote command. This is also included with our enterprise product. Um, if you wish to do a remote command prompt to the devices without actually connecting. There are a couple of settings here in our business app for the unattended devices that already have our streamer installed onto it. Um, so you can pretty much view the general computer info, um, who was the last person to remote in, um, the status is active now, logged in user. You can disconnect that user as an admin. Um, this is also where you would do your normal reboots and uh, resetting streamer, deleting devices, all that will be available for you here. Now to do an attended session, you'll go ahead and click on this little SOS guy up here. Um, and you, this is where you'll input that nine digit code. You can go ahead and invite the user here. It'll prompt them to go to sos.splashtop.com. There we go. So here I've gone to sos.splashtop.com. It will install a executable, which you can see I have already installed onto my device. You can go ahead and input that nine digit code. Whoops. And just give it just one second and I'll be able to remote into the same device. So now you can see I have two sessions going on. Let me get rid of that one. So now we're just viewing this one device. The features for attended are a little different. Um, you do still have the chat. There's a couple more here. You uh, blank screen is actually not available for security reasons, but locking the keyboard and mouse is, this is where you will reboot your device. If you wish to switch users, that'll be done here. And you can always reconnect as an admin. If you already have admin credentials, that's something you can also do here. You can connect as an admin automatically. The file transfer is also available for you here, as well as recording your session. And um, the same viewing features are available as well. Um, it's very similar to our unattended. It's just you know a little different in that connection and um, the admin cred credentials. Um, and that's pretty much our SOS product. Um, like I said, there are other features 
available for our, you know, enterprise if you wish to have unattended access to um, Androids or for any of those remote, if you need more remote management features, um, that is also available. The last thing I'm going to go ahead and demo is our um, the viewing of iPhones. You'll go ahead and click the same thing. Um, for the iPhones, you do need the, or any iOS mobile devices, you do need the SOS streamer installed onto the device. That will generate a nine digit code. So you'll go ahead and start the broadcast on the iPhone. Once done, you'll be able to view the iPhone. So you can see here, I don't have exactly control of it, but I am able to view it. So your end clients will need this SOS app on installed on the device um, and it'll generate that nine digit code. This is great if you need access to, you know, just being able to watch them and assist while they're on their iPhones, or if you need to view the camera um, and see if the connection's going okay, or if you know if you need it for to view damage control or anything in that regards, it's a great little feature to have. We do also support Androids, um, and you will be able to control those and with your computer. That's the conclusion of our, of our SOS Unlimited demo. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to sales at splashhop.com. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.